Let's spend some quality time with one of the film industry's most endearing young stars. Oh, wait, I already did that. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Tom Holland moments. For this list, we're taking a look at some of our favorite Tom Holland moments from interviews, the red carpet, social media, and beyond. Please note, we will not be including moments from his films. Number 10, Tom Holland, Watch Mojo Superfan. Hey, we had to go there. I love Watch Mojo. So here's the thing, press junkets are pretty monotonous for actors. They're just sitting there seeing one journalist after another and they all ask the same questions. That's part of why this wholesome exchange between Tom Holland, Jacob Batalan, Zendaya, and, well, me, is so adorable and unexpected. No. I'm, I'm, always, look, I'm always watching the top 10 things, always. Welcome something. to Watch Mojo. Yeah. yeah. That's me. Hey. And believe me, it was very unexpected. Tom lights up as soon as he hears the name Watch Mojo, and it just gets better from there. He actually does the Watch Mojo intro line, and then he asks me to do it for him with the cutest please in history. God, you can you do the Watch intro Mo for us? Right now. Oh, really? Please? And it sends both him and Jacob into full fanboy mode. Honestly, no one's ever been this happy to meet me before in my life. Welcome to Watch Mojo. No oh, way! Oh, oh, oh my god! This is so oh, ridiculous. Oh, Number 9. Interview Prank with Josh Peters featuring Connor Maynard and Casper Lee The fake-slash-intentionally bad interview is not exactly a new concept, having been perfected by the boys of Smosh over the years. I do an American accent when I play Spider-Man. How is that possible? When given the opportunity to interview Tom Holland in the lead-up to Avengers Infinity War, however, YouTuber Josh Peters did an admirable job executing it. With Connor Maynard and Casper Lee in his ear directing him, Peters engages Tom in what must have been the oddest interview of Holland's career to that point. Sips. Could I have a feel of your bicep? Um. <laughs> Take Sorry a turn just that. then. I'm gonna have a sip of water and calm down yeah. a little bit. What's really impressive is that Tom manages to take it all in stride, remaining lighthearted and good natured even as Peters pushes into extremely bizarre territory. It was all in good fun and everyone had a laugh, including nearly 3 million viewers. Number 8 MTV Spider Man Audition Tape. Audition tapes are a fascinating look into the filmmaking process. Do, do I need to do that? I know, I know we're on different teams. I just don't want to be disrespectful to you. You can surrender. Wait! Whoa, that thing does not obey the laws of physics. A sample of Tom Holland's real Spider-Man audition is available online, and it is a pleasure to watch. But perhaps even better is the so-called secret Spider-Man homecoming audition tape that Holland filmed with MTV after he'd already gotten the part. Peter, are you hiding something? Me? Please! In this hilarious segment from MTV After Hours, host Josh Horowitz asks Holland about the casting process. And Tom responds by giving us this ridiculous exclusive footage. It takes a truly great actor to be able to pretend to act this badly. We never get tired of seeing him dance, though. Peter, are you hiding something? N no. no. The musical closed a couple years ago. Number 7. Quaxon and the Fallout Oh, Tom, we get that this French pastry is tough to pronounce, but of all the passable ways to say it, Quaxon is not one of them. Try it with us. Croissant. But, uh, but I was so fed up one day and I went to the crew catering and stole a croissant and I ate the croissant. Poor Tom Holland made the mistake of trying to talk about these flaky bundles of joy during an interview while promoting In the Heart of the Sea. Soon enough, the clip had gone viral. And in no time, Tom found himself transformed into a walking, talking meme. Hey, being a celebrity isn't always easy. <laughs> I love a good quaxin. But, both in the original interview and whenever he's been asked about it since, he's just so genuine and good-natured that we can't help but love him all the more for it. I don't know how, how would you say a croissant? I would say croissant. How would you say croissant? croissant. A croissant, right? Number 6. Eating Snacks with Lad Bible Tom Holland is just so darn likable, we will gladly just watch him do everyday stuff. Like eating. What is root beer? And thanks to Lad Bible, we can do just that in this fun little video in which Tom Holland tries various snack foods from both America and his native Britain in a segment called Snack Wars. His mission? To decide which country has better snacks by sampling various treats. We are kind of shocked that he was unfamiliar with root beer. Oh, I used to love toxic waste. Do you ever have so many toxic waste that you can't eat anything for about three days afterwards? You've burnt your mouth off. But we love that he's so into toxic waste candies that he asked to take them with him. Of course, interspersed among all the snacking are some fun personal questions. Altogether, it's just a lovely four minutes of quality with our favorite webhead. I always wonder who was the first person that went, yeah, I'll just try that bit of moldy cheese. 
Who was the first person that thought that was all right? Number five, literally any time he almost reveals spoilers. Tom Holland is an incredible actor. He is an exceedingly talented dancer, and from his performance in interviews, it's clear that he's got a knack for public speaking. Who among <laughs> you is least trustworthy when it comes to the secrets? Uh... Yeah, oh my God. God. Even the audience? Even they know. I heard that. I heard that rumor too. Every superhero actor has their kryptonite, however, and Tom's weakness appears to be keeping secrets. And it was ev whenever Chris Pratt Beep. and Dave Bautista. Beep. If the internet is to be believed, he's absolutely rubbish with sensitive information. The notorious spoiler machine has nearly given away countless plot points. In some cases, he straight up spilled the beans. Like when he told Jimmy Kimmel about Spider-Man going to space. And I was reading what I thought was a fake script because it was like, Spider-Man's in space. So I didn't finish it, <laughs> but I, I found out it was real. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> in fact, during the press tour for Avengers Infinity War, Benedict Cumberbatch seemingly had to become his de facto handler, helping Tom not spoil things. All in all, this weakness of his has made for some pretty memorable moments. In Infinity War, are you a freelancer? I mean, do you go back to the Avengers? What do you um, do? That's a good question. Again, I'll answer it. Number four, his relationship with his dog. Tom Holland doesn't need a dog to be one of the most charming young stars in Hollywood, but it sure doesn't hurt. His dynamic with his beautiful Staffordshire Bull Terrier Tessa is almost too much to handle. He's got a habit of bringing this adorable pooch along with him to press events and interviews. Tessa, come here. Oh. Oh. There we go. Now you're okay. There you go. She's like, nope. nope. She doesn't want to stay. When she joined him for press photos during his promotion of Spider-Man Homecoming, the internet understandably lost it. She is the sweetest, most angelic thing you'll ever meet. Pretty much any Tom and Tessa moment is a great one. Oh, and don't even get us started on the time he found a stray dog and brought it to the vet. Or when he plays with puppies. What has the world done to deserve this gem of a human? Number three, his first American talk show interview with Ellen. Part of what makes Tom Holland so likable is his humility and down-to-earth attitude. 2017 marked his first appearance on a major US talk show, and he couldn't have had better company for the moment than the legendary Ellen DeGeneres. And I was kind of planning to move out here to LA, but now I'm only just moving five minutes away from my mom. Right away, his politeness and sincerity shine through. He seems genuinely excited and maybe even a little nervous to be there. He talks about his mom finding him his first apartment, which just so happens to be down the street from her. It's a reminder that he's still young and that plenty of other first experiences await him. Just look at how happy he is flopping onto that bed Ellen bought him. Spider-Man Homecoming opens in theaters July 7th. Number two, when he visited the children's hospital. Superheroes might be fictional characters, but children around the world look up to these figures and take inspiration from them. As Spider-Man, Tom has become an instantly recognizable face to many, and with that great power comes great responsibility. And then I click this button, and the web flies out of here. Rising to the occasion, he's chosen to make a difference in the real world by brightening the lives of children. What's up? How you doing? I'm Spider-Man. Nice to meet you. In 2017, Tom visited the Los Angeles Children's Hospital to stop in and spend some quality time with some of the young patients. In his Spidey costume, no less. And this wasn't an isolated incident, either. He seems to have made a habit of visiting children's hospitals whenever he gets the chance. Now that is a real hero. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> I honestly felt like Tobey Maguire in the first movie, designing my suit. Okay. <laughs> Superhero. What? Hmm? What was that? What did you say? The Spider Man suit is so unbelievably uncomfortable. The longest I ever spent in the suit was, I think, 11 hours, and it was like soul crushing. It, I like, you can't see anything, you can't feel anything. It's, really tight. it's so hot and sweaty. I'm just sort of doing a little two step to try and like warm myself up, and she's so unimpressed. <laughs> she's so unimpressed that I just bailed and left. Ooh. I just can't do this. <laughs> but I want to thank two acting coaches because I think that this is a profession that is not praised enough because we actors don't like to admit that we need help sometimes. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, Lip Sync Battle with Zendaya. Since premiering in 2015, Lip Sync Battle has featured some truly epic matchups but Tom and Zendaya's is among the greatest to date. Zendaya's performance of 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars would have won on any other night. 
but when Tom switched gears from singing in the rain like Gene Kelly to his good girl gone bad performance of Umbrella, he scored an undeniable win. <laughs> Like, this performance has everything. Attitude, fishnets, sexy-ass dance moves, actual rain. This goes way beyond parody. It's genuinely fierce, and we totally love him for it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.